standard reports list gives you access to many kinds of reports. In this video, we will go over the basics of using the standard reports page and a few of the most commonly used reports. The select report dropdown will show a list of all standard reports that are set up for your company. In this list, you may notice that some reports say custom after the report name. When you see this, it means that that specific report is actually a custom report that you can edit if needed. In order to edit those reports, go to the Customized Reports screen. Watch the Customized Reports video series in order to view the different options while creating or editing a custom report. The Payroll dropdown allows you to choose the check date in which you need the selected report for. The system will always default to the current payroll. This is the most recently accepted payroll. Below current, you will see all other check dates listed. The Format Type dropdown allows you to choose if you'd like the report in PDF, Excel, HTML, or CSV format. Note that not all formatting options are available for all reports. Select View to load the report immediately. Save to download and save the report to your computer or network. Or Q to run the report behind the scenes to be looked at at a later time. When a report is open, you will see some identifying information at the top of the report. First will be your company code, followed by the name of your company and the title of the report. On the top right of each report, you will find a few dates. The PE date will show the period end date, the CK date will show your check date, and the RN date will show the run or processing date for the selected report. One report that is often needed is the gross to net report. This report will show how the gross amount for the selected payroll breaks down into the net amount. The far left column of this report will show a description of any item that has touched payroll at any time within the year selected. Next, the beginning column will show a year, quarter, and month to date amount for each of the items listed. The amounts shown in the beginning column are the amounts from before the selected check date. This will be followed by the adjustment and current columns. These will show any adjustment that was made in the selected pay period, as well as the actual payroll information. Last, the ending column will show a year, quarter, and month to date amount that combines your beginning amounts with the adjustments and the current pay period to give you the most up-to-date information. The bank deposit amount can also be found on this report. Similar to the gross to net report, but different in that it gives you per employee information, is the employee inquiry report. This report can be run using multiple filters, including employee status, department, and cost center. The far left of this report will show a description of any item that has touched the selected employee's payroll any time between the check date selected and the first payroll of the year, along with a year, quarter, and month to date amount for each item. Below that, you will find a rate history section that shows any time the employee's pay rate has changed. If you'd like a more detailed look at the employee's rate history, use the Employee Change History page. The right side of this report will show all check dates that the employee had activity within from the first payroll of the year to the check date selected. Note that the check number column will be blank for direct deposit payments, will show a check number for payments made via paper check, and will show ADJ for any payroll that contained an adjustment for this employee. Last, let's take a look at the wage and tax analysis. Again, this report will give a description, year, quarter, and month to date information, as well as current information for the selected payroll. However, this report will only include tax information. 
The first page of this report will detail any federal taxes, including taxable wages and amounts withheld. Following the federal information, you will find state tax information. After all state tax information is listed, you will find any local tax information, if applicable. This report will also include a few different totals at the very bottom of the report. 